Hey gamers, it's Grind This Game here, back with Oxygen Not Included. The all achievement challenge where we're trying to do every achievement in one run. And for some reason my mic is really loud, I don't know why. Um, this episode, what do we want to do? Uh, we got the rocket coming back from the Snowini planet. And our, we got a robot over there doing some work. Uh, and I just realized I probably want to get over here to get some mafic rock first. So I'm going to cancel those for now and head over this way. So we can get this stuff here. Okay, they can't dig there. Hopefully it can fit into this hole. We shall find out. And then I'm going to try to conserve some mafic rock to get down here. I guess if he gets over there, then he can probably get down here. And dig this out, at least. Well, there's more down here. We want all this map of rock so we can build ladders. Before we go full speed here. There's some stuff we can inspect as well. There's some wrecked satellites. Oh, nothing of interest? Okay. Nothing of interest. I guess we kind of want to build down this way as well, eventually, if we have enough stuff. Yeah, we're kind of low on materials. So we're getting him to do as much as he can do here. Can he fit under there? He should be able to. There he goes. Yeah, he's all good. Then down here, get that. And maybe get over here. And take this out. And also get up here. Get this good stuff. As much as he can get in there. <laughs> that should keep him busy for a little while at least. And we'll get ready to go down this way as well. He can't dig through this stuff. So he'll probably have to go maybe under here. We don't. Eh, that ladder actually will help. And then come under here. Make his way this way. I don't think he can dig that. No. Okay. That should keep him busy for a few minutes at least. On Redani, we were going to build. What? I can't remember now. <laughs> Got some ice. Hmm. I guess we'll take it. Might regret that in this planet. Uh, this thing looks pretty damn hot. Hmm. I think it's the hot petroleum I've been sending. Uh, petroleum is... should be... oh, I think it might be in here. Yeah, petroleum. Six tons of petroleum in there. You know what? I don't even need to have this whole pool thing going on. I was gonna build a little pit for it, but I don't need it, because I can directly... Send the liquid out of here to the rocket. Let's just nick that right there. There we go, and then hook that up. And then we need to get to the other side of the rocket. Uh, maybe I should have built my ladder on the other side. Because I don't think they're going to be able to reach. Now we're going to have to build something on the other side here. Do it priority 7. We'll put our ladder here. So they can build that pipe. And you know what? We should probably build it from the other side. Put it through the ground here. Igneous rock. Yeah, that's good. Plug her in there. That might take them some time. We'll actually make that a six because there's more important stuff in the base they got to do. Just when they're idle, they can do that. Okay, Brandon's flying around. He's fast. He's getting really fast. Oh, he's he's running on the wheel here. Oh, we don't need this anymore. Uh, disable this pump. And actually disable this wheel. <laughs> Dis 
it's able. So we got all the hydrogen out of there. Now we're getting other things out of there. Let's remove this door. Don't need that anymore. And then we want to go down here. This is really low priority. I want to go down on top of this volcano. So we'll go beside it. And then we're going to release this water on top of the volcano. That's the plan, at least. Make some room here for that to go into. When they get around to it, which will probably be a while. Okay, we got that. Uh, I got a list here of things to do. Um, how's the rocket? Is it... Oh, it's back in orbit. Okay. It's a faster rocket, for sure. Okay, potato, get your suit on. Potato, potato, potato. Then we're gonna land the rocket. Oh crap. It might be landing on the rat wrong pad. Uh, let's change that real quick if we can. <clears throat> change back into orbit. Crap. Maybe it's already landing. Hopefully it's just landing on the one it took off from. It's unknown. Because we're going to find out in a second here. Okay, good. I wonder if it's going to take off right again. Uh, let's check the radiation. Okay, that's all good. We didn't get any uh, irradiated crap, which is good. So it all went to the vacuum. Actually, actually, what's this down here? Solid nuclear waste. Hmm. Okay, that might be actually from this. I wanted to build a storage in here, though. I want to change this up a bit. So we're going to remove this airlock. And we want to store up some rads. I need to build a little platform here, though. Doesn't need to be obsidian. It could be something like granite, maybe. So instead of firing them all this way and around, I think I'm going to store them in one of these things. Assuming this tile, yeah, that should be fine. Lead. Over temperature. Uh. Doesn't seem to have one. Yeah, so instead of firing these up and around this whole weird circle, we'll store them in here. And then we'll fire them into here when we're ready. And I think that'll work much better. We just need some power there. Cobalt, yeah, that's fine. Priority seven. That should make re refueling faster. We also want a little bit of automation on here. Okay, what do we, we got two different automation ports. What, what are the differences? We've got... Um, sends a green signal when it's full. Okay. We want the one that fires them. So we'll put a line right down here. And we'll put a button there. Doesn't need to be steel. Now this is a highly irradiated area, so we don't want them in there too long. Uh, check our ports here. So that's the input port there. We're going to point all these to the left. Once they're out of here. It's not safe to port, point them left just yet. And then the top one, oh no, can I, oh yeah, we can change it to, oh, it only points up. We can't change the direction. Oh, that's too bad. That's too bad. Um, <clears> hmm, <throat> that's not very good. That's not gonna go anywhere. That's gonna go off into the ether. I guess we'll have to bounce it around a little bit. Ah, oh, that's terrible. That's terrible. We could uh, bring it down maybe. 
Uh, I thought my plan was going to work. I thought we could change the direction on this like every other thing, but I guess not. I guess it can only go the one way. Okay, how should we do this? You might have to fire them around a little bit and, and then just point them directly up through here. Okay. Try, uh, tr we'll try this again. <laughs> X buildings. Okay, and this rocket, we need to change this rocket a bit. Oh, we have a battery. We just don't have a solar panel. Don't have a solar panel for when we're in space. We're gonna need a few solar panels. What's the uh, capacity like on this? We got height, uh, low clearance. Oh, I guess we can tell from the landing pad. Uh, looks like we have maybe height one left. Don't really need the rover module anymore. We've already sent the rover. We might want to send one later on, but uh, we definitely need a solar panel, so let's put that on. Solar panel. And I think we have room for one more thing after that. Height, 19 of 20. That's not going to be enough to run the fridge. Unfortunately, but we can probably charge the battery externally. Off our circuit. Oh, that was uh, there for a reason. Let's cancel this. And we'll put it above the battery instead. So that wire stays there. And now this wire is not going anywhere. This needs to be on a transformer. Which I was going to put somewhere. I think in here, actually. Originally. But well, let's put the radiation thing in first. Ramble chamber. If I put it here... It needs to fire straight up. This is not good. <laughs> it needs to fire straight up. We could move our thing over one. Maybe we'll do that. Um, no, that's not going to work either. Man. If we put it here and then shoot it up and over, I think that would work. Let's do that. Okay, lead. Uh, and this actually has to be up one. That's where I had it originally. <laughs> oh, man. It's definitely a bit of a puzzle for me. Um, okay, we're gonna do a reflector. Reflector here. You know what? I guess it would be better. No, that's fine, that's fine. Put that reflector there. And then... This thing here. And then we'll have to put a joint plate here. But we can't build it until we open this up. We're going to lose some gas here. We're going to make an emergency. I guess I should have kept my airlock <clears throat> temporarily. Okay, let's quickly put this thing in joint plate. Like so, so we can keep the air in there. Yep, that'll work. And then make that priority emergency. We'll lose a little bit of oxygen, but that's okay. Pick up the power. Okay, that's sealed. And then we'll need a reflector here to put things to the side. And probably want obsidian, because it's going to get hot under the rocket. So that's a little bit of a bouncy path, but it 
should get there. Let's see if it'll work. So these are all going to go left into here, left into here, store, and then when we're ready, we'll fire them up here. That's wrong. There. To the right, up, and around. <laughs> Actually, can we fire them straight into the port instead? Through the base? Uh, I don't know if we can fire through the base of this thing. To the uh, rocket platform. I don't think we can. Let's add that automation back. So that... Uh, storage is full. I don't want that one. Okay. Switch here. There we go. I think we can start storing them, but we'll let them build stuff first because they might get zapped. Okay, this is going to the right. Reflector. These are all going to go to the left now, I think, safely. We might want to keep one going to the up for this thing when we need it, but for now I'm going to put it left. So they'll all, all go into storage. And they could get zapped right here. Whoa, that's not right. <laughs> it's pointing at itself. That should be left. And we got some rad bolts in here. Okay, good. And in theory, we could have put these in series, but. Oh, wow, it just fired. Why did it fire? Oh, it's on, probably. Let's turn that off. Okay. I think that's good. I mean, for now, we kind of want it on, but let's let it build up some charge and we'll see how it works. What are they doing in here? <clears throat> they are... Who knows what they're doing. Uh, let's turn this on. Oh, we have no power. We need power badly. Okay, the power, we just need a transformer. We could stick that right there. Power, um, we have that wire. A small one's gonna be fine. This will go here. In there, and then steel. That doesn't need to be steel down here. This could be lead. To here. Oops. And then maybe steel there. Conductor bar bridge. Steel here. And a lead bridge here. Now this room's probably going to get pretty warm, but it's cold to start, so that's good. We've already stored 143 rad bolts. Looking good. So we should fill that bat battery right up. That dupe was injured a little bit. Oh, they're coming in here. They're going to get zapped. Ah! He's down. Okay, we gotta fire these up temporarily. Danger, danger, danger. That's smarts. Getting nuclear rad bolts struck in the head. It's gotta hurt. Just a little bit. Don't stand around in there, it's not safe. Okay. 
That is hooked up. Let's see if this battery's charging. It is. Good. So that should keep the inside running, I think. Yep. Okay, good. Good, good, good. The pump is... Turn that on. Clean it. Clean out that CO2. Good, good, good. Okay, now we can set these to the left again. I mean, if they're to the... If they're going to the right, it works as well, but... Let's go left. Actually, before we do that... Let's sweep all the crap out of here first. Just so they don't come and pick up odds and ends out of here. The phosphorite we will leave. Well, we'll get that stuff out of there first. Let's try to switch this on and see what happens. Okay, that worked well. Keep it off for now. Okay, what priority was that? Eight. Okay, let's check some other stuff here. The petroleum engine. Is this hooked up? Yeah, we hooked this up last time. This is just for extra power if we need it. It's getting tuned up as well. Okay, uh, we we're going to build a nuclear reactor. That was the thing that we we're setting up to do. We got water coming up to here. Oh, it's at one degree. It's a little bit cold in here, so this could freeze and cause problems. So we probably... You know what, we should probably be taking the water out of these tanks instead. There's only three here, and if this runs out, we're in trouble. But let's just, uh, let's just... Well, we can't turn it on yet, because we don't have, um... We don't have the refined uranium. What's the temperature here? Minus 18. Okay, this is definitely going to freeze in the pipe. Not good. Um, not good. Is it safe to send water to this early? I'm just going to nick the pipe. Right here. Once we save. That will cause a bit of a dribble. We don't have the uh, pliers mod installed so definitely have some leakage here oh that's gonna go just about everywhere oh boy oh boy it's going everywhere and we need some more airflow here for all the co2 that's building up actually we don't have airflow anywhere down here Let's just put it all the way down. This has no airflow. Come on, mop. Let's check our uh, Snowini. The robot is idle. We definitely want to keep him busy. Okay. We got Mapic Rock. We've already opened up this. We can't get through the iron. But we can get through the ice. Let's see. Which way should we go? Uh, we got granite in the way there. Granite pretty much everywhere. Oh, we got more mafic rock here. Let's dig this out. Dig that out. Not much else we can do, I don't think. We could go through here after. And head to the right. Traverse our way down here. See what we can see. He can jump all the way down to here. Something's happening. <laughs> Something bad's happening. Sure, what? Okay, Red Bolt stored 43. 
Oh yeah, these are not pointing to the left anymore. Let's point them to the left. You can click on them. Left. Copy settings works. Okay. How's the rocket looking? It's getting there. Our battery's full, that's good. So we're sucking power off the main grid there. But when we're in flight, it's not going to be enough. We need another solar panel. At least one more. I'm going to get rid of the rover module so we can make some more room. Maybe. Actually, it can run off the battery for quite a while. It'll be able to run the telescope off the battery. That's, that's all I really need. Okay, I think we can probably get this thing going uh, once we get a little bit more juice. Now, where are we going to go? That's the question. Uh, oh, we need an artifact module as well. Um, and cargo. Oh, man. We need cargo and... Okay, we're going to have to change some stuff up here. We're going to take the rover module off. Maybe we don't need solar. We might need multiple rockets for multiple purposes. This is kind of a catch-all right now. We need to do some drilling, we need to do some telescoping, and we need to get artifacts. So, can I remove this? Should be able to. Clear up some room. I don't think we technically need the solar because this battery should keep things going. We definitely need the artifact collection thing. This one. Let's build that. These are all to the left. We've got 240 rebels, so might as well send them through. Making sure not to zap our dupes. I guess we could put some automation on the on this thing. Send a green signal when the rocket is ready for flight. So we could use this. What else do we have here? Sends a green signal when the when its rocket is on the launch pad. Otherwise send a red signal. Okay, so we could use this to send the rad bolts automatically instead of the switch. But for now I'll just use a switch. Because getting the dupes in and out of the rocket is pretty manual anyway. Where is the CO2? I can turn this back off. Okay. I was going to unthaw another dupe as well. We're going to get to that in a second. Just waiting on some more rad bolts here. Where are we going to go? Eventually I need to settle here, but not just yet. I guess we could go... We could go dig, uh, what's on the glittering? Tungsten? Oh yeah, we have no, we have no storage. <laughs> we have no storage. Uh, this one is coal. Refined carbon, that sounds pretty good. But we need storage for that. And I don't think we're gonna have room for that without removing a solar panel. Cargo bay, yep plus three. Okay, we're gonna remove a solar panel. <laughs> Wanna be able to get the artifacts and the solid materials. Okay, let's check our other areas here. We were gonna build a petroleum generator here and hook it up, so I'm gonna do that. Just need the pipe. Uh, here to there. Uh, let's put a tile here first. Bridge. Okay. 
we may get to it. How's this space looking? Pretty messy. Pretty warm, actually. It's getting kind of warm in here. Pretty hot. Oh, that reminds me. We were going to open up the CO2 door. Because there's uh, 382 kilograms of CO2 in there. <laughs> this should uh, this should help the Slicksters a little bit. This is going to be a massive, massive press pressure release. There it goes. <laughs> we'll just leave that open, I think. And that should make our Slicksters a little bit happier. And let's do some digging here, priority two. And we'll take this. There they go. They're huffing it out of here. We should probably just crack this open directly. Right here. Open this right up. Oh, that means the oil's gonna go that way. Uh, let's... Put a little tile there. So it goes to the left. I guess technically we could let it fall down here as well. But at least they have something to breathe now. Lots of CO2 coming out. This is good. We like to see that. We like to see them fed. Look at them all in here. Holy moly, they're all starving. Okay. Oh, and these carbon... We can take these carbon... Or coal generators out. Don't need those anymore. Because this these are on the main circuit now. Just getting fed by this thing. And solar. Oh yeah, the ice. I never took on the ice. You know what? We're going to reject the ice. Actually, we could, we could use it for some cooling. Let's take it. We'll use that ice right here. Temp shift plates. Actually, we have a lot of ice. 63,000 ice. Let's we'll cool this area right off. We'll do that as a th three. They just picked up that ice and took it somewhere. Not really sure where. Probably here, maybe? any ethanol out of there it's not uh, power is not requested so not getting used okay, we'll come back to that one so red Danny red Danny how's temperatures warming up a bit we have an extra friend here we're gonna defrost see who we get and I think we need to dig out some uranium for these guys because they're kind of stalled. They're not... Not sure they're... Oh, they are doing their stuff, I guess. Now, we could have done the nuclear reactor here. It might have... Oh, here we go. Nisbet. Now, Nisbet, I think, has a lot of extra skills. Oh, they don't have a suit on. Nisbet, don't stand there. Uh, you need to come up here. <laughs> No suit. Let's check out Nisbet's skills. I think the defrosted ones have extra skills. Uh, no, they don't. Okay. Not really. Where's she gonna go? It's gonna hang out. Got nothing to do. Let's give them something to do. Um. We were working on getting this set up. I think we can open this up now. Oh, it's actually venting at the moment. Uh, okay, we'll allow it. And we're gonna open this up. You know what, let's put a ladder all the way up through here instead. Then we'll open it right here. 
and let it bathe. Let it bathe this area. Now it does mean it's going to get extremely hot here. But hopefully this water will cool it down. And then we'll want to insulate this area to keep this thing from cooking everything. Because it's at 95 degrees. It is slowly heating up everything. We don't want that. Look at this food over here. Yeah, it's definitely cooking in there. Okay, there we go. Water. Let that water out down on the volcano. Let's um give it a bit more room here. This bit's not very fast in that suit. <laughs> Yeah, we're cooking the cooking the pips here. That water weed is actually growing though. That's interesting. Okay, this thing might go underwater actually, and that would be bad. I guess we should pump some of this out of here. It's going to get warm in a, in a bit here. <laughs> Maybe this was not a fully thought out plan. <laughs> but we definitely have to get up here. Uh, let's let them go through the liquid here at the moment. Because I want to seal this up. Some drywall up there. Seal this off. Or we could just do a wall instead. Maybe an insulated wall. Insulated wall right here. I guess if this right hand side gets hot, it's not too bad. Probably want to dig down here as well and shield this area as well. So maybe we'll go through here. Yes, rock. Avoiding the space exposure. Go through here. What is this? Bleach stone? Oh, we need a place for bleach stone. We'll store the bleach stone underwater here. Oxygen's kind of low in here, so we're going to crack this door open, I think. Actually, yeah, let's crack this door open. I think we can afford it. Okay, bleach stone. Going in there, priority eight. Now, is this thing actually going to work when it's underwater like this? We'll find out pretty soon. We're lo we're losing some air here, but hopefully it'll get sealed pretty soon here. It's like a nine, and this ladder up here is more like a four. Okay, we have three dupes now, so we need another bed and another mess table. bedroom. Oh, right here. It's kind of small. Kind of a tiny bedroom. Kind of a weird place for it. Could put the beds over here instead. Make a nicer bedroom by the fish tank. We could even put a glass floor in here eventually. No place for the CO2 to really go though. We 
do that. That'll probably keep them busy. Let's go back to the main planet here. Uh, let's load the rocket. There she goes. Looks pretty full. We got our artifact transport. And we need some storage. Put the storage above this. Now it's the small storage, but that's all we can fit for now. We'll get that on there. 39. And then we should be able to launch. I guess I should probably build another Radbolt rocket. Get ready to build another Radbolt rocket here. Overheat temperature 2000. Yeah, if we build a similar rocket right beside it, I think we'll be good. These old petroleum towers we can probably get rid of at some point. What's happening here? The power consumers. Oh, that's fine. The battery is the consumer. Okay, we got our cargo bay. We'll allow all. Let's get a dupe on here. I think it's safe to get on crew. We got food, we got air. Looking good. Now midnight get, might get fried if he stands here during a launch. So we'll wait until he finishes. Where are we going though? We are going... We are going... How far can we go? I think we can go 20. Let's double check. Don't have quite a full load of rad bolts. 18 tiles. So we can go 9 out, 9 back. Uh, let's, sorry, let's change the thing from here. Um, That is 8 tiles to go there. This one... what's this one? Man. Ice asteroid. Coal and refined carbon. Solids. Yeah, I think we could go here. Do some scanning around this area. I think that'll work. I guess we can go from here. Change... to here. There we go. Take your suit off. We can use the bathroom properly, and I think we can launch that now. There she goes. My favorite sounding rocket. Well, actually, the hydrogen one's pretty cool, too. But that one sounds really cool. How many Red Bulls do we have stored here? Three? Okay, it stores really fast. Ideally, we'd store up 4,000. I didn't really have enough, have enough room for all that. Uh, we don't need to uh, disinfect that. Disable disinfect. I guess it left nuclear waste behind, maybe? Okay, we got some problems here. Ice is melting and stuff. We do want all the ice to be down this chute here, so we're going to sweep this up. Uh, is this thing not needed? No, it's not, it hasn't been used yet. Uh, we got some CO2 trapped here. Let's add some airflow right here. Let it float down. Lime, we definitely need that. That'll help. <clears throat> That'll help the steel cause. The CO2 is trapped in here, but 
it should just kind of push its way to the left. Oh, we got uh, some stinky air building up, so let's fix that. Put another one down here, actually. Nice straight line. Uh -huh. Actually, it's stinky everywhere. Stinky everywhere. Let's put some more risers here. It's because of all this polluted water giving off gas. We could maybe convert that to fertilizer faster. Let's put another one in here. That and we should probably auto load these things. They need phosphorite and dirt. If we put an auto sweeper here. How oh, far can it reach? It can reach. Let's put hmm. I should have left a bit more space in there. Because it's not going to be able to reach two materials at once. Maybe. I guess we'll find out. Depending on how we do it. And we moved our plastic so we can truncate this wire a bit. Actually, I might want something in here later. Okay, how we doing here? How we doing? How we doing? Slicksters don't have much CO2, but that's okay. Uh, how are these flowers doing? No one's working on that. I was running out of food on Blagani at one point. I guess we're okay now. We got lots of CO2 in here now. That's good. These guys are happier. <clears throat> one of them escaped. Oh, look at them go. Over, Overcrowded and cramped. That's not good. Someone forget to wear their suit. What the heck? Oh, it's this. Holy crap. Oh, the pipe burst. Okay, we better let that cool down. Yikes. It's hot. It's hot, hot, hot. I did want to make a different setup for this. Let's see what we have in here. If I deconstruct this, will everything fly out? I think bad things happen when you deconstruct these. 24 degrees. Yeah, we got polluted water at 148 degrees. I can't remember if the liquid falls out if we deconstruct or whether we get bottles. I don't know how the water got up to 148. That's pretty crazy. Let's deconstruct this. Let's see what happens. It may cause massive issues. Let's find out. Most of it should kind of head up down here. Oh crap. There's steam in there. Oh man. How much of it? Quite a bit. It should kind of cool down and... Let's not send them there for a while. Oh, they're gonna get burnt. Okay. That should cool down over time. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna do a proper steel setup with a steam turbine, I think. I 
because that wasn't working out very well. This pipe is not used anymore. Okay. Damage overheated. <clears throat> uh, oh, what did I build that out of lead? We'll build that again. That is something a little bit more resistant. Get some airflow here. Okay, let's see how this rocket mission is going. Thought he'd be there by now, but uh, he's not there yet. Building broken. Construct 39. I think I'm just gonna have them deliver the stuff manually, but we'll pre-position some stuff down here. We'll put uh, phosphorite and dirt down here. Okay, we'll put phosphorite in here. And dirt in here. when they get around to it. Okay, we've got so many planets now, it's hard to keep track. Uh, our, our robot died, okay. We're gonna have to land a rocket here. And start to colonize this. I'm not really sure how I'm gonna handle it yet. Got some iron volcanoes. I think this is the ray gun thing that lets you end the game. I think. I'm not 100% sure, but I think that's it. We gotta start making some mutant plants as well. What else was on my list? CO2 is done. Defrost a friend. Grad storage. Oil well fix. Yeah, kind of. Petrol, petroleum engine, yeah, and I had brains on there. We, we were gonna refill the brain thing. The brain thing. Actually, this water I think has been here for a very long time. Let's mop that up. Sure what happened there. Probably some ice. The brain thing. Where is the brain thing? It's over here. Let's get someone on here. Nisbet, maybe. Ineligible. Oh, she's not on this planet. How about... Jack died. Jack actually hasn't died yet. That's his name. What do we get? Deep divers, another deep divers. Not gonna complain about that, that's pretty good. What kind of ice is this? Brine ice. Let's make sure brine ice is on. We could actually drop that in here. Liquefiable. Brian Ice. Priority 9? Uh, it's more like a 6. Okay, yeah, let's check our achievements here, because that's what this whole playthrough is all about. Um, I think the next thing I might tackle... ...is... This auto-sweeper one's going to be difficult, I think. 
we just have to tell the dupes not to deliver anything and set up a lot of auto sweepers. Have auto sweeper click more deliveries than duplicates for five cycles. Uh, and then, and then I think this is spread over all colonies. That could be a bit rough. And this job suitability thing, this is gonna be really rough. <laughs> Have every duplicate in the colony complete at least one chore wearing an exosuit. We basically need, hmm. I wonder what's considered a chore. Like, is building building something a chore? Because we could have one ma massive exosuit dock leading into a tunnel where we tell them to do a bunch of stuff. But I think I want to start mutating plants. I've never really done that before. There is a lamp that makes radiation. I want to see what that thing's like. And we could probably set it up here. <clears throat> this thing, radiation, radiation lamp. We don't know how much radiation it gives off. Probably gets pretty damn hot, so maybe steel. Doesn't seem to fit here. Where the heck can we build it? What? Must be built against a wall. Oh, okay. Interesting. It can't go... It can only go to the side. It can't go up and down. Hmm. I'm going to build it here and see what happens. Because I have no idea. Because I've never used one in my life. That I can recall. Does it shoot the radiation out? I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Maybe we should face it the other way. Yeah, let's face it to the other way. Just in case. Face it that way. Power down there. Priority nine. I don't like it. Okay, let's see. Oh, we need to feed it. <clears throat> I forgot we need to feed it. You need more. Okay. Well, we were working on getting the rocket back from my Danny. It's got petroleum now. Oh, this petroleum's gonna get hot <laughs> when this thing takes off. Really hot. Like, really, really hot, maybe. Uh, we also need to get up here for fertilizer. No oxygen for these guys. We should probably set up some rad suits up top. I guess we could try to irradiate some of these things. Because we've got uranium ore on this planet. Let's open this up. Maybe we'll try to irradiate these guys. If we put a tile here. Send some radiation this way. Now, mealwood. Ambient radiation, less than 4,600 rads. Gra growing near its maximum radiation increases the chance of a mutant plant being produced. It doesn't actually require a lot of power, which is interesting. Let's try this out. We'll see how many rads it gives off. Oh, 
wart seed that could be that could come in handy. These Drekos might end up eating our food. Kill off the critters in here. Actually, they're gonna produce meat. We'll leave them. We do have some uranium ore here, so we'll see what uh, that's like. Fertilizer 270. We need to send some fertilizer from the other planet as well. Because we're not really making any here, I don't think. So where are we sending the excess bathroom stuff? Nowhere. <laughs> oh boy. I never set that up. So really... Uh, we'll have to figure that out pretty soon. <laughs> where we want to send that water. I guess we could send it to a little plant down here. Berry. What temperature is it right here? 24. We could do this. So I'm getting off tangents on tangents here. We'll put a little thing here. And then excess water. Go into there and we'll feed a plant with that. I don't think we have any bristleberry berry here actually. <laughs> so that might be impossible. the wrong button. What did I hit? That one. Oh, we have a blossom seed. Perfect. I guess we had some resident blossoms. Illumination. Yeah, we can fix that. Okay, this lamp. Significant hazard. Holy moly, 749 rads. Wow. That's kind of dangerous. That's kind of dangerous. Um, they're going to get baked in radiation there. Okay, let's turn that off. Deconstruct that real quick. <laughs> I think I want to set up a separate room that the dupes don't go into, or build some radiation suits for them, because that's a little bit tough. That's just a little bit much for them to, to handle. Yeah, I'll think, have a think about how I want to design that for next time. Rocket is harvesting. We should be doing some scanning as well. Yep. Oxygen looks good, food looks good. Didn't get a whole lot done this time, but um, that's how it goes sometimes. A little bit scatterbrained. Faces looking good, kind of. <laughs> oh yeah, I was gonna retire these bedrooms. Um, because they are in, they're getting, this dupe here is getting woken up. I guess we could just put a solid door instead. And I want to stop feeding these guys, I don't want to feed these guys anymore. Turn that off. Oh, are the crabs fighting this guy? <clears throat> this guy's damaged. Put a airlock there. Yeah, I guess I'll put a solid door here. Oh no, they're getting out. <laughs> they're getting out. Let's, let's kill this one off. 
I'm gonna move that whole room though, so let's... We're gonna build some more bedrooms here. I just needed to move my ladder around here a bit. In fact, yeah, we were gonna get rid of this whole thing. Let's plan that out real briefly here. I think I'm gonna do a whole other layer of, be of bedrooms. One, two, airflow. Another door. Something like that. Do another stack of bedrooms here. Might as well just plan this out now before we round things up. Now they're going to be very simple. We'll add the decorations later. Trapped on the ladder. <laughs> Funny. Funny dupes. I think there's some slime lung in here. Oh yeah, nice, nothing like slime lung in the bedroom. Uh, we should probably fix that. Oh, how many more should I across should I go? We can just keep going with this. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's do another... Uh, another column. Well, how many do we need? We have 22 dupes. Um, 4, 8, 12, 16. Yeah, let's do another row. Okay. We are way over time here. We'll make this a nine. Watch it get done. New planetoid detected. Oh! That was nice for the end of the episode. What did we find? What did we find? Oh, Siftola. This is where we're going to find our... Our, um, whatchamacallits, regolith asteroids have frequent meteor showers and chock full of regolith. Yeah, that's going to be cool. Probably settle that one last. But it's nice that they found it, and they're probably done. Oh no, they're still digging. Cargo capacity remaining. It's getting close. We'll finish that up next time. Sixteen, twenty. We'll need a few more. But we can definitely retire this room and this room. I'll leave the statues. I'm not sure what I'll do in here yet. <clears throat> definitely get the beds out of there and I really have to wrap things up because we are out of time hope you guys enjoyed that one uh, if so hit that like button as always thanks for watching and we'll see you all next time bye bye